What's up, guys? Dirty Diesel here. Got a big question for you guys because I don't know the answer. Um, what's the future of diesel? And I'm not just talking about current situation right now just because the price of diesel and gasoline has went up extremely under Brandon. So um, what do you guys think is going to go on? Do you guys think that <clears throat> excuse me, your $60,000 Super Duty or your sixty or $80,000 Duramax, do you think that it's going to be usable in any near future? And I'm serious, like, for real, do you think that the gas prices are going to go back down to normal, get a different president, things are going to be just cheerio? Or do you think that we're going to be starting the switch to electric vehicles and just using less towing less, less ATVs, less everything, less hunting trips. Um, what do you guys think? What is the future of di diesel mainly? You know, I mean, I don't want to say screw cars, but yeah, screw cars because they could go electric. Trucks, trucks can't go electric. You could say that you can have an electric truck, but what is it going to tow? Sure, you could put a fridge in the back and go to Home Depot, but what, what is it going to tow? Uh, I'm serious about it too. And how far? That's the main thing. That's what towing is, is far, right? It's not just a Home Depot and back. It's towing. It's moving. So what are we going to do? Are we going to like... Yeah, all right. I mean, it, it's crazy. I could keep going on forever. What is your guys' opinion on diesel and diesel trucks for consumers? All right? Is this going to be something that's like, oh, sure, semis can use diesel, but consumers, no, we don't sell that to them anymore. No, they don't really tow anymore. Nah, that's just the future. Go green. Go green. So, what is the future of diesel, guys? I'm serious. I want to know your opinion. And I want to know what you think your truck's going to be worth. And I want to know if you think that, like, you'd be comfortable trading it in for an electric truck or some crap. All right, guys. All right. Freaking New World Order bull crap. Dirty Diesel out. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out as my subscribers. I, I don't make much content, and I'm not, like, super uh, cool dude or anything, and I don't put titles that are awesome, and I don't put catchphrases and crap in the titles. So, word them up. Take care of yourself. Hopefully, our diesel trucks can rock on. You know, of course, we could cut back on our consumption, but you know what? I was thinking, since you guys stuck to the end of the video here, <laughs> no um is it's just like <clears throat> i thought that the um pharmaceutical industry don't they make all their stuff out of petroleum like i'm serious i i think all their crap that they derive all their medicines is derived from from the same crap we're using to get gas they just switch the elements or crap something if I'm right, maybe that's why they're trying to stop using gas because they need it for their pills. Their freaking pills, taking their pills. And that's another thing, guys. Don't take pills of any kind. I mean, I'm dead serious. Just stop. You know, if you're on some antidepressant, stop it. Like, uh, get on a plan to quit that crap. You don't need to be on that crap. Because what about, if anything, supply chain disruption happens, you're all hooked on pills. Get off that crap. Don't even take Advil. All right, guys. Dirty Diesel, out.